Good day everyone, this is OK the VHS Guy. It's time for a VHS and Blu-ray update from March 30th, 2019. Today I went to Savers and Target, got some VHS and Blu-rays. So let's not waste any time and let's get started. This is a CVS rental. The 10th week of 1987, so I believe this is a Canadian copy, although I'm not 100% sure. Here's another MGM tape I acquired. I do collect a lot of these. February 12th, 1995. This is a Fox Searchlight film from 1999. Phone on from Blockbuster. The 10th week of 2000. This is a rare Columbia TriStar tape from 1992. The 15th week of 1992. And this is a formula from Owen Flix in Tinley Park, Illinois. This is a rare tape right here. And this is the original TV pilot to the 70s TV series. And this tape was released to coincide with the Ang Lee film. The 20th week of 2003, and this has black reels, which is pretty cool. Forming off a of blockbuster, purchased on July 30th, 2001. And this is co produced by MTV Films. The 20th week of 2001. This is the 1998 TV movie, and this is a Hollywood video rental. Perched on September 13th, 1999, and another MTV co-production. The 6th week of 1999. This is a resealed former rental from Blockbuster. Purchased on October 13th, 2002. And this is co produced by Spyglass Entertainment. Here's another HBO Canon tape I acquired, and this is another TriStar film. April 9th, 1987. And this is a former rental from Crystal Video in Crystal Lake, Illinois. This is a pretty rare tape. And this is a TriStar and Triumph film. Just like Jury Duty. The 13th week of 1996, and this is a former rental from Waterford Video in Wilmot, Illinois. This is a pretty rare type right here. I do know that Brandon's Movie Quarter and the VHS Brony have this tape as well. September 12th, 1991. 
the 26th week of 1998, and this is a form article from J.C. Flick's video. I do know that the VHS Brony has the demo tape of that film, which I do have to look for sometime. Unfortunately, the cover is faded. This is a former note from an unknown video store. And here's the last retail. And this is an HBO tape from 1987. August 23rd and October 29th, 1990. And now here's my 8th Demo VHS haul. I do have a retail release of this film as well. And you know what to do about reading the information on these demo tapes. The 46th week of 1992. This one's still factory sealed. The next two are from HBO. Over the box says trail only. This also has the feature as well. So it's my oldest HBO demo tape. I do have the retail release of this one as well. And this is a Warner Brothers film. Print dates on the sticker, July 18th, 1991. And this is a polygram demo tape from 1993. And these next two are from Warner Brothers. I do have a retail copy of this film as well, which is a blockbuster rental. So it's another 1989 Warner Brothers demo tape. April 3rd and April 6th, 1989. Also have a retail release. And it just, just has these two critic reviews. March 22nd, 1995. Also have a retail release of this film as well. Which is the original print. And this is a rare Columbia TriStar demo tape from 1991. August 22nd, 1991. And these next two are from Turner. I've already have a retail box. Here's, what, here's how we can tell it's a demo tape. December 28th, 1993. And these boxes have the holes punched out. I 
October 5th, 1994. So I did get some awesome demo tapes and savers. And here's the last demo tape, which is my first Academy Entertainment demo tape. And my second one overall. My second Academy Entertainment tape overall. The 295th day of 1990. And that's it for the Safe at Savers. And now here are the four Blu-rays. Which all of them are VHS artwork Blu-rays. Which is pretty cool. Very cool if I found these at Target. I do have the retail releases of those of the uh, Blu-ray ones as well. Even though, even though I don't collect Blu-rays that often, I thought these were really cool, so I would just pick them up. And that's going to be it for my VHS and Blu-ray update, and I'll see you later.